So today we're setting up another 825. I've been really liking the smaller board. It's just flipping easier, it's popping higher, and it's just working for me right now. I still have my other eight and a half board I just set up, so it's gonna be kind of nice having both boards I can kind of go back and forth to. So I went back to the skate shop and I picked up another 825. But with this board is because one, it was on the sale rack. And the second reason is because the wheelbase was 14 inches. The 14 inch wheelbase just really works well for me when I'm popping and flicking my board. I can turn a little bit quicker. Eight and a half CBI board I just set up that has a 14 and a half inch wheelbase. So we have a half inch wheelbase difference. And I guess the last reason I picked out this board is because it's a PS stick. Since my shop deck was just a BBS board, I wanted to try PS sticks. It's also what I'm going to be riding with my CRAP board. And the last reason is, is I don't have a board sponsor. So usually I just get kind of like homie hooked up or flow bro by people. Like Dom just hooks me up. Dan hooked me up with my flight deck last time, which was really rad. Then we were just on the BBS shop deck. And so I really wanted to skate a smaller wheelbase PS sticks. So that's why I got this thing. And actually the length of this board too, I think was only like 31 and a half. It's definitely a shorter board than normal. I think the last few boards I've been riding have all been like 32 and a half or 32 and a quarter. And just the smaller board, just going to be easier to spin. Like 360 flips are just going to work a little bit better. So uh, this is definitely going to be like my street board for sure. I was looking at April skateboards too. They had a few boards that were 14 inch wheelbase, but I didn't realize that skateboard decks are like 70 bucks now. So I was like, what the heck? So maybe when those go on sale, I do want to try one. I'm just going to open this bad boy up and um, let's kind of sticker it up first. Yeah. You always got to take off this little warning label right here. I also do like the big nose on this board. It's got a pretty nice like shovel nose. It's not too big, but it does look a little bit bigger than normal, which I really like. Uh, tail looks pretty small. Looks nice though, I can't lie. Um, so I'm gonna definitely like just throw some stickies on this thing right now. Some of these Cat Palace stickers, and I think it's like a tattoo skate shop. Um, and anyway, I'm just gonna use it. It just kind of matches the orange and it looks like Pac-Man. So I'm gonna throw this sticker right here. And then I'm just gonna be, I think I'm just gonna honestly throw like the shop on and an Nike SB sticker. Keep it pretty simple. I feel like I should throw my rails on first, but it's okay. We'll do that. Oh, it looks so clean with the orange too. Oh yeah. That looks pretty fresh, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm, that looks pretty clean. I wish I had like another white sticker to put right here too. Maybe I'll find one, but the Cat Palace one's pretty fresh right there. The Pepper Grip right here. It's kind of similar to Mob, it's got holes in it too. I usually get air bubbles in my board and like everybody always makes fun of me for it. But I just tell them the air bubbles are just more pop, you know? It, it, that's all it is. I just get a little more pop with them. Oh no. It's stuck on each other. I do like how Pepper doesn't get that like weird crinkle like kind of effect. Sometimes Mob Grip Tape will do that. I don't know if it's just like maybe Mob is thinner or something. It's just that sometimes I'll get like those weird crin crinkle marks. Is that how you say it? Crinkle? <laughs> We're going on like this little like Euro kind of vacay and I decided just to bring a new board anyways. I feel like having a new board will keep me kind of more motivated to skate. There's going to be some skate parks nearby and we're going to see some street spots. So I'll definitely try to get some street skating in too. But it's a hard decision. Like when you're leaving for a trip, it's like, do you bring a used old, like kind of like worn out board or do you bring a fresh, you know? On the topic of board sponsors, I guess we can kind of go down memory lane. I was getting hooked up by Birdhouse from like 2010 to 2012. And then after that, I was riding for Pow Skateboards, which is out of New York. Shout out Nolan. Pow gave me a few pro models. You can go check them out. They're not in stock anymore. Those were a long time ago. There was like a Hot Wheels one that was like super fried that I just remember. There's a DuckTales one. And then there was one with like a bunch of like blunts and stuff like on the coffee table essentially. After that, I really didn't have a board sponsor. I was kind of just like bouncing around between like homie brands, just kind of giving me boards. I was buying boards. I didn't really have a shop sponsor at that time either. So I was, I think I was just like, I skated a few of those Polar 92 shapes for a while. That was kind of my jam. We are throwing some independent uh, 149s with inverted kingpins on this. Uh, I was riding these on my other 825. They were working really good for me. I like having this nice kind of like, I feel like the truck size for me works really nice. It kind of fits all the way to the edge of the board. It doesn't really hide underneath. And they're finally getting broken in because on that first board I felt like they were just super heavy just because they were like brand new and had like a ton of extra metal. Now that they're grinded down I feel like they're going to be lighter. Probably not, but I'm going to tell myself they are. 
I'm trying to think of what I was writing before Birdhouse, because at that time I was writing for Willie's Workshop, and either I was writing Willie's boards or like, like, you know, probably Birdhouse boards. I remember getting like a few Enjoy boards that I really liked, but otherwise than that, that was probably it. So I haven't really tried too many boards. Like I've never tried skating a deluxe board, which is kind of crazy now that I think about it. Like my buddy at the skate shop was like, bro, have you ever had like a real deck or anything? And I was like, no, dude, I, I never have. And I do want to try one of those Santa Cruz VX boards because I feel like they're kind of like the flight deck. So I do want to kind of see what those are about. All right, I'm going to finish getting my trucks on and then we'll move on to the wheels. All right, we just got the trucks on. It's looking chill. It does feel pretty light, actually. Compared to my shop deck, I want to say this feels lighter. But at the same time, it could be my trucks, though, like I was saying. Like, my trucks have definitely got a decent amount of, like, wear and tear. So that could be just some of the metal wearing off. I could be totally wrong, too. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to switch the wheels out right now. So these are the wheels I'm skating again, just the Bordy Cakes, 48 by 99. They're kind of wide, just wider than normal, I feel. I mean, I guess to normal wheel, they're not that wide, but for little guys, they're pretty wide. Kind of like chubby over the side here. I just always like to point this out because the nut kind of stays kind of hidden in there. Just so when you're doing even like slappy grinds though, it just like, you kind of roll up on the side of the curb right there and just kind of chill. But um, anyways, I just really like these wheels and they're small and they're chill. I have some reds bearings in here and like we skated like a ditch the other day we've been skating some really dirty spots so the fact that these are like still rolling is pretty awesome oh i just both those washers just totally fell sick skating some crusty spots because these wheels are like less than two weeks old and they're already like that gnarly looking like i haven't done graphic in in a while but i think i'm gonna throw the graphics in you know it's kind of clean on this board i'm not gonna lie I feel like I've tried a lot of other bearings in that price point range, and I still find that Bones Reds are the best. But like I said, that's just my opinion. I could totally, totally be wrong. But I've just tried a lot of other brands that make bearings in that like $20 range, and I just feel like these always hold up. Anyways, I'm going to finish putting on the rest of these wheels. And um, oh, and then I, hate, I literally hate putting rails on my board, but I love having them. That looks clean. So now he's got to put some rails on here. So normally on like my like nine inch and like my eight and a half inch boards, I usually put my rails in about two inches. So on this 825, I've been kind of like scaling it down a little bit. I'm only going about like an inch and a half, just so it's our, like it just so it's not as extreme. I'm just gonna put a little mark right here. Alright, I've got my two little marks. Oh yeah, here are the specs really quick again. 825, 14 inch wheelbase. Yeah, he got 31 and a half. All right, so the board's looking fresh and ready for the trip. Hopefully I can skate it today before we leave just to break it in a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's uh, the current 825 setup.